Hi everyone and welcome in this new video. Today we are going to see how to create a form where you can uh, invite people. Let me explain it better. So actually you want to make a form, okay? And you want that that form could be only be used by people that has a code. It's like an invitation code, right? You invite someone to submit that form with a special code. This code uh, could be set up with like an expiring date and also you can even um, set a, a certain amount of time that the code could be used. Okay, so this is very useful in many cases. You can make like some sort of promotion. Uh, you can, uh, you know, contact an influencer and ask him, listen, use this code in your video. I want to have some contacts and for each contact I will pay you an amount of money. So it can be used in many other ways. If for my client, for example, they needed a way to invite some people to a sort of special event, right? And in this event, they wanted to make sure only people they was inviting submitting the form, right? So there is a ton of things that you can do with it. And in this video, you will see it, how to do it for yourself or for your project. So let's jump in right away. As you can see, I have my plugins here, Elementor and Elementor Pro. You don't need Elementor Pro, so uh, you just need Elementor if you want, or you can even do it without Elementor. Anyway, I have those installed, I have Teams, and I have the Hello Team here. Great, so I'm going to actually add the plugins that I need. So I'm going to Plugins, Add New, and here I'm going to look for Contact Form. Great, and here on contact form, I'm going to install this, activate it, perfect. I'm going to add also uh, another plugin called Invitation Code for Contact Form 7, and you will get this um, plugin here. As you can see, there is not many people using this plugin, but I test out and it's working really fine. So I'm going to install now this one and activate it. Great, so now we have the contact form 7 and an invitation code for contact form 7, right? So uh, now I can create my codes by getting here on contact, this will appear after the plugin installation, and of course I have invitation codes. But first, let's create a contact form, right? Great, so I'm here, I have contact form one, this is the default uh, contact form, I'm going to click on here and I'm going to add invitation code. So um, I'm doing something like this, I'm doing like, I'm going to copy this, right? Uh, just go like that and paste it and at the place of this one you can click on invitation code and of course add a, a default value or whatever you want um, I won't add anything else I just click on insert tag now we have the tag inserted I'm going to remove the email so make sure you have this one here and okay you can save it Great, of course, um, when you get here on the mail tab, you need to set up all of this information with your email and your message and whatever. Also, if you want to know uh, what is the code that the user used, of course, there is this code here that you can copy and paste it where you want. Let's say code, okay? And in this way, uh, you will receive the code that was used. So. Once we done this, okay, we need to create a page and add it to the page, right? But let's create the invitation code first. So I'm going to click on invitation code and add a new. And here I will call it like invite party, for example, okay? Status, I can uh, enable it. The invitation code will be party 45, okay? And expiration date. We can even add a date when this code will expire. You can use it for promotional stuff or whatever. So I will add a 30 of this month. And amount of times the code can be used. Of course, if you want to make it unique, you need to click on one. Um, if you want to make it like forever, uh, I mean, you can use it um, all the time you want. You just uh, leave this blank. I want only that 10 people can use this, right? So I can add 10 here and select contact form seven. So as you can see, there is my contact form here. I can click on this. Uh, if I have more or multiple contact forms, I will have a list of contact form under uh, this column here, 
okay so I'm going to publish this right now first let me remember this so I can copy it and publish this okay now the code is okay and if I click on invitation code again I can see it in my list so I have then a list of invitation code that I can manage and uh, and this remaining uh, number will update automatically when people start to use the code. Great, so let's get on a page right now. Page, add new page. Very quickly, we are going to add a new page. Okay, great. I'm going to add it with Elementor, but you can even add it from here by searching for contact form, right? So, um, yeah, you have the contact form 7 here, but as I'm a big fan of Elementor, I'm going to add it with Elementor. Great. So here, let's say this is your web page, right? I'm going on settings. I will hide the title and here I will add my, um, my widget. So I'm clicking on the plus button, clicking on the structure. Let's say I want um, tree structure like this. Okay, I'm going to add my a form right here in the middle. So click on this plus button and search for contact form. So we don't have the contact form. In this case, there is another way. So what we are going to do, we are going uh, to publish this. Okay, I'm going back to my WordPress dashboard. That uh, Let me check my contacts. So here we have a short code, right? So I'm going to use the short code and add it here. So click on again on the plus button, uh, search for shortcode. And as you can see, we have shortcode here, drag and drop it, and of course, paste the shortcode. Great, so now we have our contact form, right? So you will be noticing that we have your email twice. It's because I made a mistake on the contact form here and I just need to change this. Um, as you can see, I added the invitation code before. You change this to invitation code. So you can save it. Great, so I'm getting back here and this will change when I update. Clicking on apply, now invitation code is working fine. Now we can publish or update the page and get to the page. Right. So now we have the page with our contact form. What happens if I add my name, Arian, your email, info, okay, like that, an invitation code. Uh, I just don't add anything and subject, hello, message, uh, okay. So if I just add like, let's say a, a random code and I submit, you have a message, the invalid invitation code. And here uh, there is like fields have an error and whatever. So now let's add our code, right? So it was party, right? Party 45. And now if I submit, this works, okay? Of course, the messages can be customized um, on the back end. So uh, if you go on contact form, you have messages tab and here you can fix all your messages or translate it or whatever. Also additional settings, of course. And yeah, that's all. So this is very nice if you want to um, implement this to your website and it's very, very quick to do. Let me check something else. I'm going back here invitation code and now we have nine remaining amount so this is working pretty fine guys you can use it for your project without any issue so guys that's all very very easy right so i hope that the video was useful please like this video and subscribe to the channel notification bell like always if you want to be notified and get my new videos so have fun and see you in the next one bye